Hey guys, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again with a new layout update video for you guys. So, had some things come in, got some new equipment, got a couple of DCC upgrades taken care of, and uh, I've been also working on a new table for the turntable and roundhouse area. So, let's go ahead and talk about some of that stuff real quick. I'm going to start off with these three UP passenger cars that came in. These are some of the Walther's Heritage Fleet Series cars. We've got the Art Lockman, which is the tool car, the Willie James Cruise Sleeper, and the 5769 uh, Baggage Flag Car. And these cars are really cool. Though. Like I said, they're all from Walther's. I've got one more car that's on the way. Well, actually, two more cars, two dome cars. I got the Missouri River Eagle and the... Uh, what's it called, the uh, City of San Francisco as well. So both of those cars are coming, and that'll cap off this little UP consist that I've been making to haul behind my big boy. And, uh, yeah, it just looks pretty cool as is, though. And uh, I've been towing the grain train behind this little consist just to kind of make it look like 4014's in route to another excursion and just, you know, have to pull some revenue freight in order to make the trip profitable which is not uncommon for steam locomotives, actually. So it's just been kind of cool putting the big boy through its paces a little bit. And I know some of you are going to ask, does the big boy have sound? No, it does not. It just has an ESU lock pilot inside. And, you know, that's okay with me. It still runs great, and I still have access to the lighting functions, including the firebox glow, which really surprised me when I first put it in there. But, uh, yeah... Silent runner, but it's still a great runner, nonetheless. If you saw my last couple of videos, you would have seen that the Aurora Miniatures SD60F and the Rapido Union Pacific E8A came in. Now, I did a review of the SD60F. I'm not going to do one of the E-Units, simply because the E-Unit came just straight DC. I do have DCC in it now. I put a lock pilot in there, and that's probably how it's going to stay. It's just going to be a silent runner, so... Some people may be against that, but you know, it's an economy move it's an economy move on my part to save a little bit of money. So there you have it. But really happy to have both of these units. I know people have had some issues with their SD60Fs, but mine's been giving me fairly good running. I've actually consisted it with the uh Wisconsin Central SDL39 and my BC Rail Dash 9 back there from Scale Trains. And they've ran pretty good, but and then the 942, it's a good runner as well. I really like all the lighting on this, especially the uh, cab light and the Mars light on the nose. So, pretty good looking units. Really happy I got these. Something else that finally got a lock pilot in it was this Scale Trains C39-8, the uh, Savage Alberta Railway number 7486. This engine's been sitting around in my collection for a couple of years now, but I haven't gotten around to putting DCC in it until just now. But really good to have a decoder on this thing at last, and I can run it with the rest of my units. Again, it's a silent runner, just like the E-Unit and the Big Boy. But it runs, and that's all I really care about in the end. And uh, it's sitting on our next big project, which is going to be the turntable for the layout. So let's go over here and take a look at the roundhouse area and see what we've accomplished so far in the last couple of weeks since the last update. So I've had this roundhouse for quite some time and the turntable. I got these from my friend Ed Painter last year. And uh, at one point I actually took them off the layout because I wasn't sure if I was going to even use them. I thought at one point about putting a yard in this area. And I do still want a couple of small yard tracks. But I do want the main focus to be the turntable, so here we have it. So the turntable and the roundhouse will probably end up being the big centerpiece eye-catcher of the layout. Now, one thing I'm not going to do is go around and wire this whole thing up to make it all operational. So the stalls will be dead tracks, and the turntable itself will also be dead, but I can turn it by hand, so it'll just be for display only. Most of the time when I run something on the layout um, and have it sitting on the turntable, it will just be there to look at and be pretty, basically. So, that's what I'm going to do with it. But, 
what we've done so far is I've built this framework right here and this is where the turntable is going to go. So as you can see, the turntable has got to go right in this area here. So I've got to give a top cut and uh, cut a spot for the turntable itself. So we've got that to look forward to. And this was all just made out of scrap wood that I had lying around with the exception of the legs. So, and a big shout out to my friend Todd Fisher who made the suggestion that instead of building it independently from the rest of the table, instead that I screw it in to this part of the table. So I took these couple thin sheets of scrap wood that I had laying around, screwed them into the table, and then screwed these parts in before doing so and it's now screwed directly into the table. So that worked out quite nicely. So thank you Todd for that suggestion. It's gonna be really cool to get this in here and it'll be a nice little place to display locomotives and rolling stock when we're done. So moving on from the roundhouse, one little piece that I got right here was this Walther's uh, crossing signal here. And I just dr uh, drilled that in and got it in place. The wires are just hanging loose under the table until such time I can wire them up. But got that as a gift from a buddy of mine. So thank you, Ben Fishburn, for, getting me, for giving me this crossing signal. It's really cool. And it definitely adds a little bit more realism to the layout. I just need to finish up the road down here below it. So that way we'll have something for the trucks and cars to actually run on. But hey... It's, at least we got a crossing in there now, so that looks pretty cool. And the last little thing that I got here, uh, I actually got this for Christmas. This is the HO Scale Menards Morton Salt Mine. And um, this is a really cool piece. I've loved the O Scale version of it, so I wanted to get the HO one. And my mom actually got this for me for Christmas. So big uh, thank you to Mama C for getting that for me. But this is really cool. It's got animated signs on both sides of the building. And right behind it, you can see that spur track that's coming off the main line. I just need to add the rest of the spur to come into this little hopper area right here. And we'll be able to run cars in and out of there and have some salt traffic and another industry to switch on the layout. So that'll be really cool. And I've just got to wire the um, cord I've just got to drill a hole for that cord to go through the table and plug into the little uh, building there, right about there. So this building will be able to light up. But until then, this thing's just going to be sitting here isolated until we get some track ran into there. So some other priorities first, mainly doing the bench work and getting the rest of the main line built. But big thanks to Mama C for getting me this building for the layout. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's just been a little bit of progress done. But hey, a little bit of progress is better than no progress at all. I'm especially happy just having fun running the big boy right now with these UP excursion cars. And yeah, I know I normally do the Canadian stuff, but sometimes you just got to come back home and do some stuff that you love also. So that's typically how it is with me. I just end up running whatever I want anyways. <laughs> So the next thing will be to get the top put on the table for the uh, turntable area. And then we need to finish up the two tables on the other side where the main line will be. And then we'll be able to move on to wiring. But that's just about it for this update, guys. Just wanted to film a quick little one for you guys. And I hope you guys like the video. Comment down below. And if you're brand new, please hit the subscribe button for me. But until then, this is Ravenhawk6910, signing off.